I understand a lot more about what's going on on the field than I did last year, and uh, it kind of is. Fr- it's more frustrating now when I make mistakes, just because like when I see something, like I'm able to put two and two together and say, "Hey, I should have known that was coming," versus saying, you know, last year, like I, I would, I would be in situations and I might not completely understand it until it's explained after the mistake was made. But now I'm able to see something on the field and say, hey, let me not make this mistake. And then it's a matter of me possibly getting beat one-on-one by a guy or just me just overlooking a minor detail or something like that, you know? Do you put much stock in maybe building momentum for next year in a game like this? Say you win this game and then there's momentum for next year. Do you put much stock into that kind of thinking? I mean, I mean... Honestly, this game, this is a game that has been on the schedule since week one. So, really, this is about this year for me. Um, the off season will be where where my stock is kind of placed for you know next year. But I mean, I don't really, I don't, I don't really look at it like that. I just go out and I want to say, hey, this is the end of the season. Let's go out and let's do what we got to do to get this win and, and come home. You mentioned how much you, you hate losing. So, how much will, will this season be a, a motivation? I guess a motivating factor for this off season. Everything you're doing. I mean, a lot, man. It's a, it's a huge motivating factor just because you, you you go out this whole season and you put the work in that we put in the off season, and now you come back and you got this bad taste in your mouth. You got you got to go home and you got to sit down and watch playoff football. And I don't I don't want to watch anybody play because I know we got a team that's good enough to go out there and play versus anybody this year, but we didn't do enough to win the games that we needed to do to, to needed to to put ourselves in that situation to be in the playoffs. So. Um, just got to go home and I got to suck it up and watch those games, man, just because I love the game. So I'm not going to sit sit home and, and not watch the game, you know. <laughs> I was going to ask you will watch it. Oh, I'm definitely going to watch it. <clears throat> How will it be watching it? Angry, bitter, I mean, what's the... It's going to suck, but at the same <laughs> time, like, hey, it's ball, man. Every, you know, Saturday, Sunday, whenever the Wildcats starts and everything like that, I'm, I'm excited, man. I love watching ball. I love it. Just go football what you were saying before. Before, what do you, before you feel like you improved most, or what do you still feel like? It's, you're like, you know what? I really need to to still shore that up. And I mean, that's going to be the offseason focus. There's honestly there's so many different things, man. Like, you know, my role expanded this year with, you know, pressure and, and blitzing and stuff like yeah. that. So, I can definitely get better as a pass rusher. Um, I can still improve in my coverage. Um, can continue to improve as a tackler. Um, just and even as a like you know, if I want to be labeled as a leader on this team, I continue to be improving as a leader, holding myself accountable in situations when it's just me and myself in the room and there's nobody else in there. What am I doing to to get better as a player? What am I doing to get better as a teammate for my, you know for the guys that are around me? I just gotta make sure that I'm making the right choices so that when I do come in this building, it's second nature and it's not just something that I'm putting on the front for. Jared, I'm wondering when you're watching play football, are you? Watching it from a perspective, where you're still trying to diagnose what offenses are doing. You, you have to. You have to. I don't think you can really turn that off. I mean, once it's on, it's like something that you just go around with. Like it's hard for me to watch a game now and be like, man, like, how did you make that mistake? And then you know, it's just it's 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 tough. Like you you see certain situations, you know the down distances, you know what the game clock is saying, you you know all all those different situations in your mind, and it's like. Okay, what do you think they're gonna do here? And I'll probably be sitting there on the TV, you know, trying to guess what they're gonna do. And sometimes I'll be right, sometimes I'll be wrong. But and I don't know, just just me continuing to sharpen my mind and continue to stay fresh with the game. This might seem like a silly question, but rush, 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 <coughs> you not going into the season? I mean, I know, I, I knew, I knew my role was gonna continue to grow in that room, in that realm. But at the same time, like. You never know how much it's going to be or how much it's not going to be. So I was re- I was open for anything and ready to go do what I had to do. If you, grade your, if you put a grade on your performance this year, what would you give yourself? Uh, I don't know. It's hard, man. It's hard right now to sit here and give myself a grade. Uh, I wouldn't. I don't know. I really don't know. How about the team? What do, you, what do you keep coming back to as to why you guys underachieved this year, I guess? I can't tell you. I can't even. I can't put a finger on it, man. Like, I just, I don't know. We're, we're in so many games where it's it's one point here, it's, it's three points there, you know, it's, it's a two-possession game there. It's, it's certain things that we just did not do to get wins, and we were closer. We were so close so many times, too many times, to to say that, you know, we're, we're not capable of getting those games. So 
it's just something that we got to continue to go back and what we do, what we do in the off season, that self diagnose and just go out and self or self evaluate and figure out what, exactly what went wrong and and what we need to be tighter on. Could it be a bit more actually... frustrating uh, knowing that uh, it was something different? I mean, it wasn't just the same thing all the time that you were trying to correct. I mean, it seemed that different things cropped up all through the season. I mean, there's there's so many things that are going to change throughout the season. You, you, your teams evolve, teams change, you know, and and we got to be able to evolve and change at the same time. And um, we were attacked so many different ways. We attack teams different ways, and uh, it's just, I mean, it, I don't think it's frustrating to say that. Like going back to your question, I don't think it's frustrating to say that it's going to be different things, and you got to kind of expect that, just knowing that this this game evolves throughout the 16 weeks, 16, 17 weeks. Do you think you guys got better as the season went on? Or... No, I think we definitely got better as the season went on. I definitely do. But at the same time, it's like you have to look at the rate that you got better at. Did we get better at the same rate as the other teams that we're playing as our opponents? And that's the thing that – that's the, the variable that changes it, changes everything, so to say. So. Do, you feel like you, do you feel like you guys got better at the same rate as other teams around the league? Um. I mean, we didn't get the win, so I can't say that we did or didn't, you know. So it's there's a lot of things in there that are going to change that. I would say defensively, I mean, you guys have played really well here the last you know, half of the season or whatever. So I don't know if that's something to hang your hat on going into the off season or, or how much better you think you know this defense can be with another year in the system going forward, I guess. I mean, I don't really look at the, the – I look at the result. I definitely look at the result, but it's more about the work that we put in to kind of say, hey, like, okay, this is – this is what we did throughout the week to get us playing like this, whether it be in the meeting room, whether it be on the practice field, whether it be post-practice, whether it be by ourselves as players. You know, this is what we did. And kind of taking a gauge of that and a, and a measure of that is what I'm going to pretty much focus on to kind of go into next year with, going to this off-season uh, schedule with that we have, you know, coming up when the OTAs roll around and whatnot. Just kind of getting in the routine and building that program with the guys so they know when the season rolls around, this is just something that we do to prepare for a game rather than, okay, let's just throw this meeting or let's just do this just because we feel like it, you know, it can help us. No, this is something that helped us throughout the season. It's something that helped us play better. So something that we're going to put in. I mean, you just got to all be on the one accord and be on the same page with that kind of stuff. Why are you, what, what gives you optimism for the future? Because a lot of fans right now, they see five and you know, ten and fewer wins than last year. And I mean, Rome wasn't built in a day, you know. The Detroit Lions, we got a new coach. He's not going to come in the first year and just – some coaches do. And some coaches – I mean, people are blessed differently, you know. Some are able. But there's certain things that we got to get right around here to be not just a one-hitter quitter and to be, like, a staple, what we want to be in the league. And we got to work, and we got to go through certain things to get to that. And people got to understand that. And if people don't understand that, that's okay. That's fine because I'm not – I don't come in to work for opinions. I come to work to get wins and to feel great with my teammates in this locker room. So that's I, what this year was in your eyes. This was the year to sort of try to get things right then. I mean, it? not going into it. You never say that going into the year. You want to come in and win, and that's what we put the work in to do. But things didn't go our way. So, yeah, you know, it's just like a year. A football season is kind of like a day. Everybody has a bad day. But you got to get up and you got to come back to work the next day. You can't just say, "Hey, this this one sucked, and now we got to just clean sweep, clean house, and just sweep everything." No, come on now. This is this is a work in progress every single day. This you got to keep molding this thing. You got to keep working it. And it's going to be times when it's going to look great and it's going to fall down. You got to go right back at it. Collect everything that you got, and you got to go back at it and say, "Hey, this worked. This worked. This didn't work. This didn't work. Throw it out. Let's put this in." And it's just a continuous work in progress. There when there when, is a did, lot you, of when did you realize that maybe this was going to be to use your word a bad day this season? Like, was there a specific um, stretch? Was there? A... I mean, I guess when you get knocked out, when you, when you realize you got knocked out of the playoffs, that's the biggest thing. I mean, when you really have nothing else to play for, so now we just got to go out and we got to go just get wins. I mean, that's it. We're just we're we're going out. We're competing now. We're just competing. We're not going to the playoffs, but we're going out. We're competing. We come to work every single day. We put we we come in here. We put all this time in, all this energy in. We want to compete, so that's what we got to do. There is a lot of people wondering if Patricia is the right guy for this job after one year. Is that crazy talk to 
to wonder if he can do this job after one year? Or I just, why do you believe in this man? I mean, because I've been here all year with him, you know? I go out there and I play how I play because I believe in what we're doing. But, like I said, those are people's opinions, man. I, I just, it don't affect me. I don't care what they got to say. I don't, I put that, I put the jersey on, I put the line helmet on, I got the number 40 on, and I go out there, I put my heart on, into it, you know? I don't care if they say I'm good, I don't care if they say I'm bad, I don't care if they say my teammates are good or bad, I don't care if they say my coach is good or bad. I love this game, I love what I do, and I'm going to go out and do it to, do it how I know how to. Okay, two more. What's Thanks the offseason, by the way? What's like the, your plan for the off? When do you get back to training, or when do you... I just got to wait and see when my body feels right yeah. and uh, hit it hard when I hit it, though. I'm yeah. telling you, go hard. That's it. That's all I know. Yeah, you played the full 16 this year, too. What was that like, getting through the whole 16 with a high snap count in the game? Was that more taxing than last year? I mean, it's not really more taxing. I mean, I, I don't know any guy who really wants to come out of the game, you know. I definitely don't want to come out of the game. So I know I know every single play matters you know so i'm trying to be in and i'm trying to have an effect on the game just like all my other teammates Get these guys